Well, alright then. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I'm Hupfen, and on our last episode, we got a little bit of progress started on this bad boy. Uh, this little dynamo, this generator, this solution to all of our problems. Not that I think it's important or anything. Um, you're gonna need some wires hooked up. Bing. Um, so right now this is everyone's focus. Just get that built. Um, we'll sign that. We're also gonna need the algae deoxidizer because we are starting to run low on oxygen. Um, let's prioritize our existing power generation because we're out. Um, you know, this, this will eventually take care of it, but it's not done right now. So let's get it done. Uh, so that's just going to take its time. And while we are here, people grumping about things, I don't know. Um, while we're here, while we're handling stuff, Okay, that's a level six. That's all. So this should all be level six. Um, we do want to get digging down here because research is not done, but pretty soon we'll get the research done and we'll start farming this out. Uh, this muck root, mealwood, etc., etc. Uh, which would be nice because our food. Situation is a little, eh? Uh, it's not terrible, but you know we don't want to be too low. It's, yeah, see, food shortage. People are consuming eight thousand per cycle, and we have less than eight thousand. So this is actually high priority, and therefore so is this. Just keep generating, you know. Pipkin, many thanks. Get things rolling. And the generator exists. Has no gas output right now. That's fine. Um, what gas does it give off? Info. Smells about how you would expect. Um, it's a fart factory. Doesn't say. So we'll just put it, you know, connect it to our output vent. We want to push all the gas we can out of here so that the geyser can fill. We want as much natural gas in that chamber as possible. Don't speed up through the night. Don't really need to watch everyone sleep. Oh. That hatch will be taken care of, I I assure you. Um That's actually let's get some algae in there. How are we doing on resources. We have a good amount of algae. No polluted dirt. Which I th think that's fine. Um, I think we're turning it all into fertilizer. A lot of mealwood seed. A uh, little bit of blossom. No briar. That's okay. Briar doesn't really grow. Um, and we're going to want those other seeds when we start our farm. Which hopefully will be soon. Um, let's start prioritizing our research. So we do have two jobs going on right now. Um, let's actually cancel all this because it's not really relevant. And we're going to build a manual generator here. So why do that? 
because this is going to need a little bit of a kickstart. Now we're going to need to kickstart this heart uh, in order to get me to stop making terrible Motley Crue references. That's that's a high priority right now. Uh, so we want this to filter natural gas. Actually, wait. Um, let's deconstruct this. We need to get over here. We can't reach this stuff. And we're, we need to reach this stuff. You know, it's like one tile too far. Um, so what we'll do... I'll also set a sweep, because this is just going to fill with poison gas. Not poison, toxic. There's a difference. Um, yeah, deconstruct this, and then put a tile right there. And have the tile here, do all this construction work. When it's done, deconstruct the tile. Put the gas filter back. Ta-da. So we have people running around getting that business done. Algae deoxidizer is pumping out oxygen, but not quite enough. Acorn is taking a nap because narcoleptic. Uh, that's a, that's annoying, I think, at this point, more than anything. As long as Acorn doesn't drown, yeah, it's more just annoying. Uh, everyone is mildly stressed, but not really. Um, let's see. How does... We're starting to get to the point with our oxygen that, yeah, we could, uh... We can stand to do something about that. Research is done. Awesome. Um, yeah, let's go with pressure management. Uh, man's power protects circuits from overloading. Actually, no, let's do that. Uh, because power is a much more important concept right now for us. Um, let's see, we have biodistiller bio converts slime into algae. We're going to want that. Uh, we're going to want to avoid the police, who is a, who are apparently coming by. Um, don't really want to build stuff here because this is gradually going to just build up and be more of a barracks. Um, but I feel like that is a dirty water output. So, hmm, where to build, where to build. Do we really need it though? We have algae, we have algae, we have slime. Uh, that's, where is that? Organic. We have a good amount of slime, but uh, enough algae that I'm not going to concern myself too much. So a fertilizer maker uses polluted water to produce fertilizer, and that's going to be useful as we're farming, which is why we have it now. Uh, hydroponic farm grows a single plant, allows liquid delivery for irrigation. Farm tile, just farm tiles, uh, and then aquatic farm tile. So that's going to come like down in here. Now we're going to start moving our food-related things down here. So we're going to prioritize this build, have a refrigerator. Um, and this will hopefully be something that the natural gas generator... I know it's way up there. Um, we actually... We actually might want to use like a coal generator. Or hydrogen one, um, but relying on gases is a little inconsistent. I don't know what that noise was just now. Uh, yeah, everything edible to go in the fridge once that is once that is powered. Um,
And then we can actually deconstruct this ration box. Deconstruct the micro musher, move it over here. We have a kitchen. We have a culinary area. One, two, three, four. We have eight, so one, two, three, four. Actually, yeah, let's let's do that. Um then let's interrupt our mess hall with new musher. Which means wires, yes. Um circuit is starting to get a little overloaded. It's a little troubling. The supercomputer and the research station when we finish our tech tree, those go away. So that's a little bit of savings that we can obtain in time. Not yet, but in time. <clears throat> and we're going to work on this little circuit a bit more. Uh, this manual generator is here to kickstart the natural gas generator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once the natural gas generator is able to work independently, um, it'll be connected to this battery. We'll actually build a couple more batteries in here. Two, maybe three, depending on size and like how this geyser works. Yeah, now it's emitting natural gas. It's loud, it's noisy. Um, it smells like farts. This, no power, because nothing down there had power at the moment. That's just waiting algae. So this can be deconstructed. When it is, we put everything in the, fr in the fridge. Um, then the mess tables are mess tables. They're, they're there. We're generating a good amount of power. Not yet enough. Um, may actually, I don't know. I, th I think we're pinning a lot of hopes on this generator. Kind of do a lot of work for us. I don't think that's unreasonable. It's just going to take a while to really, you know, really see the results from it. Really come to fruition. So... Carry on, Blackberry has to go loo. Go loo in the loo. Delivered po polluted dirt. That's one way to put it. Um, it's hatch. It's just... I mean, it's not that bad yet, but when we break through here, we don't want it, you know, eating up any of our food. So, uh, gonna have to do something about it. Um, we'll figure that out, I suppose. Uh, so what happens when we get rid of this ration box? What do we put in its place? Well. Bio distiller is a bit big. Uh, fertilizer maker, likewise. These are actually getting quite large. Water purifier, we don't need for that chain. We will need it for this chain, this pump. Uh, but we're not there. Uh, what else? Utilities. Temperature's fine. Don't really want to put food stuff there. Um, I right, could put decor related stuff, but it's right next to the printing pod. Printing pod looks lovely. You could actually put some algae terrarium. Put some terrariums here. Um, that could actually be a good idea. Because our oxygen generation is insufficient. 
substantially so, from the looks of it. Uh, so we want to solve that. We also want to sweep a lot of this up. Electrical wire, it's reachable. Nothing here is unreachable. Thank you. Um, Acorn's building that corner tile. Or, dug it out. Alright. Um, people doing their thing. That's fine. Uh, that's a that's a gradual process. We're gonna let them handle it as warranted. Um, consumables. They will all eat everything. Stuffed berry. There is some nice food available in the future. You know, if we can find it, um, or rather find the ability to make it. And by find, I mean develop the ability to make it. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of that is kitchen-related things. It's <clears throat> it's cooking stations. It's micro mushers. Um, we'll actually set up a job for that. <clears throat> that won't be necessary. For a little while, but it's there. You know, it's it's an option. Um, so now this. Why does it have no power? That should uh, deconstruct. Oh, it, ha it has no power because there's no power because it's connected to. A circuit that isn't running. So all this construction's going on. Um, those appear to be unreachable, and I don't see us being able to get over there. So I think we're just gonna have to deal with that, and uh, it's going to suck. Uh, let's deconstruct that so that we can build. Our next bit, we're going to get some natural gas kind of leaking out as we finish up this construction. Um, we should prioritize... We can't prioritize the deconstruction, huh? Alright, well that's taken care of down here. So what do we put in its place? Algae terrariums. These are actually going to be pretty good because they turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. And there's a lot of activity down here, that means duplicates are giving off carbon dioxide. Uh, let's see, vitals. Bluebell. Take a little rest. Get healed back up to full. You know, you're not in that bad of shape. There's no, the bandages are unnecessary. You know, you're. You're kind of flopping like a soccer player here. Um, but there you go. Good as new. Pipkin, your turn. Just want to heal everyone up to 100%. Hopefully that will have a slight decreasing effect on their stress. It's not a huge deal. Stress is pretty well managed right now. 10% is the worst and that's Bigwig and Bigwig is a grump. But for everyone else, we want to keep our stress as low as possible. Um, I am really hoping that natural gas doesn't, like, permeate these. No gas can escape these airlocks. They better, that better be genuinely airtight. Um, because we kind of need that to be the case. That's kind of what we're designing around. Why are people gathering water? 
No restrooms built because the outhouse is out of commission and Acorn's taking a poo. But all's right with the world again. Let's up these terrariums a little bit more. Um, this is a high priority sweep because the hatch is right there. And that's Muckroot. And we don't want... We don't want the hatch stealing our food. So research, advanced power regulation is just about there. Um, and in terms of like our overall power regulation, I do think we'll end up building a coal generator. Uh, not immediately, certainly, but you know we'll use this natural gas generator to kind of maintain this upper area you know maintain this pump probably have a few other things maybe distillery kind of stuff not not the fun kind of distillery uh but you know other necessary bits along those lines uh they can jump up to but they can't jump we had issues with them like having to go up to before um but whatever so yeah this thing is just given off natural gas and a little bit of it is flowing into the base but not a ton um, and we actually may find ourselves wanting to like go up here or somewhere go you know really high in our base not into this polluted water certainly but go really high into the base build a pump pump air way down into our base, pump out, like, separate out the oxygen with a filter, and then just constantly pump oxygen from up to down, up to down, because oxygen will rise, or rather, carbon dioxide will sink. That will kind of push oxygen upwards, so everyone's doing their business, everyone's sleeping, the hatch is being a twerp. Well, it's not being a bad twerp. Just... I don't know, I don't see it even eating, like... like anything useful. You know, what, what do we got down here? Sandstone? Yeah, you can have the sandstone. Yeah, go ahead. We have lots of sandstone. We are good. You know, just please go to the right and burrow so we can, like, pin you in here or something. So we can, you know, build a door. A pneumatic door. The simplest of things. We should actually do this regardless so that it can't get into our, uh, into our farm. Yeah, let's... Let's do... Actually, attack! Attack! <sighs> well, you know what? Points for its evasive capacity. Um, you know, you can't really fault it for being able to run away. I mean, you could. You could. And I probably would. But, Trench Stench, Hawkbit, get over here, you know, Hawkbit, you are now going to the med bay, after you shower. Will a shower take care of Trench Stench? Because, like, if that'll do it, then great. Um... If not, that sucks, but, you know, having one guy out of commission for a little while, it's fine. Uh, nope, Hawkbit still has trench stench. Yeah, 
That's that's why he's coming up here. Because he's sick and stinky. So we've got Prioritize that construction. Those pipes need to get finished. And then actually we need what is it? New plumbing. This gas filter. Gas goes in, out, out, in, out. Yeah. That's how it should look. Someone else got Fiverr contracted it. Oh man. Okay, um, that's troubling. High priority then, build a medical cot. Does this require power? No. So, build a medical cot and then send Fiverr to the medical cot. We... Dude, I don't even know. There's a bit of trench stench going around, I suppose. At the end of the day. Um, yeah, let's toggle auto harvest. We have stuff to harvest. Uh, yeah, fiber. Fiber's eating. Did he just... Did not finish his hush bar. His mush bar. We would, we would brand them as hush bars. To make them sound a little bit better. You know? Hush bar. Not so disgusting. Um, even though they are totally disgusting. So these guys are just gonna do what they gotta do. This geyser is just giving stuff off. Um, let's see, we can prioritize... Actually, prioritize up these buildings just a little. And that. And that. Um, yeah, this, we're gonna have insufficient oxygen generation for a little while. Um, but once this setup is complete and rolling and humming along, first thing it's going to do is generate oxygen. Because uh, these terrariums don't give off a ton. They give off a little. You know, it's better than nothing, but not a ton. And actually, let's uproot the bristle briars. Uh, we'll just use those for decor later. Because, you know, they're there. Why not? Essentially. Uh, so our work here is done. This is going to rock gas. Tungs tu gas tungsten. Wow. Um, but no, that's going to gas mer gaseous mercury. Stuff must be getting weird as you get further into the asteroid. Um, but hey. It is what it is, I suppose. So, yeah, right now the problem is just... There's no power with which to start a natural gas generator. So, what do our priorities all look like? Those are sixes. Those are sevens. That's kind of important. So, who is going to be in charge of our next couple bits of work? We got Turner. No hooch. Uh, naturally robust. So, won't get sick, which is good, because uh, people are starting to get sick, uh, but can't cook. That might be okay. Um, Harold, pretty quick underwater, can't dig. 
There's probably going to be enough other work for Harold to do, though. Uh, similarly with Gossman, nice and buff, but can't build. Probably going to be other tasks for that. Um, you know what? Let's let's go with Turner. Uh, slightly higher expectations, but we'll uh, we'll work with that. We'll we'll make some progress. Um, we're gonna make you dandelion. So let's print him out. Flop. There we go. So that will do it for now. Hopefully this whole system will get finished and up and running for our next episode. So be sure to look for that. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe doubly so. But either way, ta-ta for now.